Lord Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan. Maester. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. You stole from us? I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. No. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard. But they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Then you admit to the crime, in front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers, three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. Kill him. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. No, please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! <laughs> my lord. Normally, it is the Lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out. I will carry out the sentence. This is injustice, my Lord! That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. I did what I had to do, and it didn't bother me.
pig farmer. A 300 mile walk, and you're still in my way. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Craster's, but this is even better. Oh, fuck you, Brett. Still have some fighting spirit left in you, huh? I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. And for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. Seemed only fair he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. You fucking shit! Temper, temper. Too bad your father didn't fight like that. Might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. You're going to die for what you did! Jon Snow can't hold your hand now. Let's see if you scream. You got lucky, pig farmer. You're going to slaughter me, like my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? Take your sword. When you die, you'll know you weren't good enough. So noble, you fucking cunt. Finish it. Go on. That's not a mercy you deserve. These people are all scared, my lord. The White Hills have driven them away from the Ironwood Forests. Out of the way! And now they come here, starving, looking for food. Food we don't have to spare. How can we support an army and reclaim our place in the north if we can't even feed a handful of peasants? Our backs are at the wall again. And this won't get better on its own. These are hard times, to be sure. Harder than I've ever seen. But I'll do whatever it takes to get us through it. We'd better hope we figure something out. With those white hill bastards in our house, we must be wary. Come on, you! Let me go! You can't do this! Good. Uh, You're here. Uh, Look. Uh, 
Look at this. Did you see what this girl did? She attacked my man like an animal. Bloody bit me. Yeah, now it's her turn. She's going to get what she has coming to her. This won't go unpunished. Let go of me. I don't care if she's your sister. You'll do no such thing. I won't allow it. That's not for you to decide. I saw him stealing from our kitchen, and I told him to stop. He laid his hands on me, so I bit him. Bloody wench! I was only doing what had to be done. I warned you not to mistreat my men. Someone will have to answer for this. Do you hear me? Don't make this ugly. Thieves have to be punished, so your man got what he deserved. He's lucky he didn't get any worse than that. So you've given over your duties to this girl, then? Or can you not control your sister? Don't listen to him, Roderick. And if you can't rein her in, yeah, what about the rest of them? It's about time she saw a real lord again and learned proper discipline. Are you afraid of a young girl with all the armed soldiers you What? Are? I'm not afraid. I, I want order. But this house is in a shambles. And the problem starts at the top, Roderick. Watch your tongue, boy. You yourself had the gall to strike one of my men. And that's the real problem with you foresters. You're too fucking proud. Always have been. It was bad enough when you were above us. And now it's even worse. Because you don't see how far you've fallen. Still high enough to look down at you. Now here's a brave and wise girl. A girl who knows how to speak the truth of things. No. A girl who should know her station. <laughs> That's how I like to see you, foresters. Face down in the muck. Oh, foolish Roderick. Now I'll have to put you in your place. You will learn some fucking humility. Oh, this won't be the last lesson I teach you, foresters! Have you no honour? I'll run you through for that! I'll cut you down like straw men! Take him, Roiland! My bloody pleasure! I'll fucking kill you myself! No. Make him watch this. I bet this makes you angry, eh? You probably want to get up and hit me. But we know how that would go, don't we? Now, are you going to be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? Roderick! I will not yield. You bloody snot. Why don't you fucking get it? <laughs> Get up, Roderick. Stay down, my lord. <sighs> Your brother Ethan didn't know his place either. Ramsay Snow taught him good. Talia here will meet the same end. Unless you're a good little forester, you learn your place and stay down. Some forester is going to learn their lesson today. Don't you dare! You stay down! Stay in the mud like a dog! This is my place! You fool! My lord! What?! Bloody cripple! Are you fucking deaf?! You! You'll never keep the foresters down. Hold there, or you're next. <laughs> Please, Lord Griff, not the arm. <clears throat> if you persist, Lord Roger, you may lose it. <sighs> now, stay down. Tell me! Will you be a good little forester? Oh, oh you, you can't. I command you! Let him alone! You! You should fear me! I'm in charge here! (sighs) 
No! I alone rule this house. Don't think this is over, Roderick! You'll see! I will make you suffer for this! Trust in that! My boy. Careful. He's badly injured. Roderick, you didn't let him do it. He couldn't keep you down. You were brave. But there will be consequences, my son. We both know that. Worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry. He's gonna see what happens when you harm a member of my family. And mine. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. Make sure they're ready to do some damage. Sounds like a good time. Let's go. And Arthur. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane when I want you to enter. We'll be ready. I'm coming with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together, then. Obey his new master. And while you're at it, Elena Glenmore, what are you doing with him? You're supposed to be marrying you. me. I'd rather marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the maester. She'll never marry you, Griff. She'll do what she's told. And so will he when I'm through with him. You should have set a better example. Don't believe you. <laughs> You'll pay for this, in blood. <laughs> Still the old cocky Roderick, eh? Trying to show Elena that you'll never back down. You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Go ahead. Come at me, Griff. My fucking pleasure. Ah, oh, you fucking... You're dead, Roderick. I doubt that. Grab him! Don't just stand there! 
He is not the... What the hell is this? What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders. Kill anyone that moves. You heard him. Stop down! You can't do this. Now then. About humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you all right? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roost Bolton. Shut your bloody mouth, Grim. You gonna hurt me? Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! <laughs> Is this the man you'd rather have? This cripple. Roderick! Enough! That's enough! Are you satisfied? You need to stop. My eye! Rod... Roderick! Oh, you fuck! You are need you... to stop! No! No, you can't! Why are you protecting him? I'm not protecting him. I'm protecting Ryan. When Lud hears of this, don't you realize what they'll do to him? If you kill Griff, Ryan will be the one to suffer. Get out of my way. I can't do that. I want him dead, believe me. But not at the cost of Ryan's life. Besides, he may still be useful to us. It's all right, Roderick. Least I could do. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. No one gets in or out. Word cannot reach High Point. You must be sure of it. Not until we want it to. Kill the ravens. All of them. <laughs>